Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So we are approaching that holiday season. It's starting to get cold. The leaves yeah. are down. The yeah. lights are going up. At least in New Jersey they are. Yes, and it's that time to shop for the holidays. Now, I know I've been a victim of this. And listen, we're gonna start the whole thing. This, we're gonna have fun with this video, right? so don't take it too serious. <laughs> but I've been a victim of this, of getting crummy gifts. And, and MJ had almost mastered that. However, she's getting better. <laughs> she's getting better. You haven't given total perfect gifts, but again, I love the gifts because they come from him, not because of the gift itself. Well, in this I video, you're sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> in this video, we are going to talk about RV gifts that people will actually like and use. There's nothing worse than gifts. This is what, of course, you want to get a gift, right? It's the idea that counts. But for me, if I get a gift that I'm never going to use, it's just stuff that's collecting. Like it's got to <laughs> have a use to it. Right? You just, I don't know. Maybe I'm very superficial. So we're going to talk about in this video ten. RV gifts that people, I promise you, RVers are going to use. Alright, so number one gift that I promise, we promise your RV or friend or family will like. This one goes hand in hand with RVing. It's like white on rice, right? It is. It is a collapsible, portable, cornhole game. Now, I love cornhole. I am awesome at it, by the way. So she says. Remember it, this last summer in Wildwood and down the shore? Do you remember I won the huge That's prize? That's right. Yeah, it took yeah. like 50 bucks to win no, a $5 no, I prize. <laughs> I beat you. That's all that mattered. Anyway, this is the, the Jugol, J-U-E-J-O-A-L, three by two foot collapsible portable cornhole game. So it has two cornhole boards, 10 bean bags, a carrying bag, and a tic-tac-toe game. Indoor, outdoor, it is a blast. Who doesn't like cornhole? Maybe I'm sure there are people that don't like it, but I love it. You love it. They have it everywhere. If you go to yeah. NASCAR, any campground, people are playing cornhole. But what's cool about this one, normally cornhole, it's like these big wooden boards. RV transport. RVs yeah. seem to try to be getting smaller mm -hmm. now, right? This one is completely portable. Right. It's lightweight. It's going to serve the purpose, and it's way less expensive than the other ones. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that in the links below. Number one, the portable cornhole game. Number two, who doesn't love to get assistance when having to pay for something? So for your RVing friends and family, how about a gift card? We have received, my good friend Nikki gave us a KOA gift card. KOA gift cards are great. Harvest Host gift cards. I mean, anywhere people like to go, help them out with the cost of a night or two to stay. I always have this saying, I love camping, but the only thing that's better than camping is free camping, uh -huh. especially if you have a hookup. So yeah, absolutely. Prices are going up and everything. If you hook, can hook somebody up for a night yeah. or two, it's great. We would highly suggest that. I promise you, your RV and friends will thank you. Take it a little detour here. Mm -hmm. Well, the worst part, I think, when you're finishing up your trip is having to look at your poop. Dump your and tanks. And don't lie, I know people watch. It's I like do. that train wreck, like you have to see it. I come watch through. because you gotta know when it's clean. I know. Well, exactly. It doesn't bother them that much, actually. Yeah, when I really did, it's weird. It. So, this item that we're talking about is called RV Digested. It's Unique. by Unique. Yes. Yes. So, this basically is going to break down the material into a liquid and man does it work it's insane like when we first used it i said i couldn't believe coming through the elbow there was was liquid yeah so we got we got this and i told mj we're going to try this new thing we used to use the tst which you know works but basically the unique rv digest and we've mentioned this in other videos yeah. it's enzyme and bacteria based so instead of masking smell these things are actually breaking down it's almost like when you have a septic system you have to have the right bacteria mm -hmm. to break everything down the tanks don't smell Right. So like MJ said, when you flush, everything comes out liquid form. Mm -hmm. Different color, but right, right. liquid form, which is what you want because you want everything to get flushed out of there. It's going to keep those tanks as clean as possible, keep those sensors clear. It's amazing. I the hope stuff, you're not eating right now. This stuff is a little bit more expensive than the others. Not much, but it's well worth it. We actually have a unique 15% yeah. uh, code. We'll put that link below. You click on that, you get the 15% off. Save some money. But even if you don't buy this for other people, just get it for yourself if you want to try it. It is really an awesome And the item. stuff is made in the USA. Number four, I promise you, your RV and friend, unless they already have it. A lot of people have it. But if they don't have it, they're going to thank you for this and they should have it. It's going to be a tire pressure monitoring system. Now, there's several out there. We use Tire Minder. We currently use the A1AS. We actually have a video. I don't know if it'll be on before or after this, but mm -hmm. we, we've been using it. It's really good. We've also used the I-10. Excellent. We have $20 off discount code for both of those. We will link that below. However, 
If you wanna save even more money, there is an entry level one out there, the Gouda, which we've tested, that works excellent also. Right, if you're looking for more of a budget, TPMS, that's a good way to go too. We tested that one out, mm -hmm. work great. So we're gonna put the links for all those down below. Number five, simple, but a lot of people forget about it, is something that everybody should carry on their RV is a first aid kit. So if you know somebody that doesn't have it and they love to RV, please get them one. You never know when something's gonna happen if you get stuck. What are you trying to say? Cause you're always falling and twisting things. <laughs> anyway, you get stung by a bee, yes, you fall, you poke your eye. You're you going know. to cut wood and you cut your finger off well, with the axe. Well, then you're going to the hospital. You well, know. you might need something to wrap yeah. it, right? Okay, so yes, this is really important. Don't mess with this first aid kit. Number six, we use this all the time, is a head lamp flashlight, all right? When you're walking- LED is preferable, LED, of course. yeah. If you're walking your dogs at night or you get to a campground late and you need to be setting up, you need your hands. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be hold. Sometimes you can get, you know, ones that stick on the other, but, but one that's gonna follow your head yep. is way more preferable, at least for us. It, it comes in handy. Again, you're walking your dog, you have to pick up poop, whatever. There's a lot of poop talk in this video. You're gonna be able to do it hands-free. Now. When we talk about LED headlamps, mm -hmm. you can spend a lot of money on these. Yes. Some of them will get quite expensive. Mm -hmm. And those are great. If you're out there hiking all the time and you're 24-7 and you're like diving underwater, yes, yeah, spend the money on it. However, for us and for a lot of RVers, you're just kind of using it to go outside right. and you don't need to spend all that money. Yeah. So we've been using the Vaunt uh, LED headlamps. Their two pack is 14 bucks. They run on AAA batteries. They're bright as anything. Yeah. They're really bright. Uh, and for 14 bucks, like you can't beat it. So mm -hmm. we'll put the link for those below. If you're enjoying the video so far, we invite you to join the ERV family, hit the subscribe button below and come along for the ride. Also, if you're on Facebook, we have a private Facebook group. It's called Endless RVing, RVers Coming Together. We would love to have you join us. So head on over to Facebook and join. So number seven, this is probably the priciest item on our list. It's quite pricey, but we got it last year and use it all the time. So let me tell you a little secret. This was my plan, right? We drove down to Tampa last year and we brought a, a freezer with us, mm -hmm. a microwave. I'm like, oh, let me get this battery. Yes, a microwave. Let me get this battery. Let's see how it is. And if, I don't know, if I don't like it, I'm gonna return right. it, right? Because it's not cheap. Back then it was like 12.50 or something like that. Yeah. It's actually cheaper now, but it's gonna be the EcoFlow Delta battery. This thing, I'm telling you, is freaking awesome. I, I use this all awesome. the time. Why did I get the EcoFlow Delta? Because of its capabilities. It's 1260 watts mm -hmm. of power. But what's great about this is that you can run appliances, you can run heavy duty tools. Like again, we ran a 700 watt microwave. I think it's up to like 1500 watts. It might be a little bit more, but it's, it's just great. I keep it in my work truck just in case I have to power a computer, a monitor, whatever, you can do it. Lights, like right now, the lights that are hitting us, they're being powered right. by that little Delta. Mm -hmm. The other great thing about it is that if you're boondocking, and we've done this a bunch of times, we cut the generator off at night, we can plug in all our, our cell phones. Things. So you have yep. USB, USB-C, you have, I believe, six uh, power outlets mm -hmm. on there. It is outstanding. Mm -hmm. I love this thing. Yeah. Uh, I wish I could get like three more. <laughs> and the other great thing about it is that you can hook up solar to it. So it's, I think it's about a thousand bucks right now, something around there, but it is really, really good. So if there's somebody on your, your list that you really love and you want to spend more, go for it. Number eight, how many times you are at your campground, campsite, and you're cooking, you're barbecuing, you're bringing food out. And as you're bringing stuff out, the flies are helping themselves to your food before you even get to it. So mesh outdoor food covers is an item that we love. As you're bringing your food out, you put these over the food so nobody gets to it before you do. Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about flies, right? Flies like to go on your food and they like to go on dog's poop also. So you might get that same fly, yeah. right? That's like little spreading, mm. spreading its wings everywhere. Yeah, yeah. These things are inexpensive. They're like 12 mm -hmm. bucks for what, six of them or so? Mm -hmm. You just put them right over. It's just like a mesh guard and then it keeps all the bugs away. Yeah. Number nine, I love this. So how many years we have gone camping and we take, we have those little mesh Laundry. The collapsible ones. Yeah, the collapsible. We're like, oh, this is great. We'll stick it right in our closet. Those things don't last long. So if you have a lot of laundry in there, they start to rip and tear. Not good. This is a durable laundry backpack. It's made of nylon. It's an actual backpack. What's great about it, it has a, a drawstring closure on the top. 
you have a space in there to carry your laundry detergent, your dryer sheets, whatever. That was another thing, these, these little yeah. mesh ones they don't have. So this way you have everything in there, it's durable, strap it on your back so if you have to walk a distance, to the laundry room, you're covered. And you know what else? What? It's only about 15 bucks, yeah. but that's pretty awesome. And number 10, this is probably the most important one. Maybe, I don't know. It, it might be, I don't know if it's second to the uh, tire pressure monitor. I think it's maybe even first, right? I think it's- Because this one could really yeah. save your day. Mm -hmm. So the final one is going to be a GPS unit. And I'm not talking about GPS that's going to tell you directions where you're going. Those are pretty awesome. I'm talking about a GPS tracker. And we've talked about this on many a times. Of occasions. Yep. Guys, I, every single day we read about RVs getting stolen. There's a Facebook page. I think RV travel uh, mm -hmm. every week they have like updates on RVs that are stolen. It doesn't matter if it's motorized. It doesn't matter if it's towable. It doesn't matter if you put a hitch lock on it. It doesn't matter if it's in service and you think it's safe. That's right. So people say they put the hitch lock on their on their fifth wheels or whatever. Well, when you take it to service, guess what? You can't put the hitch lock on it. And if you give it to the service center, they may not even put it on it. What I'm saying is something like this, like like we use the wear safe. Mm -hmm. It's like 150 to 190 dollars depending on what you get for the unit it's live tracking meaning that it speaks to you and you speak to it right if your motorhome rv is supposed to be somewhere and it moves it's going to tell you mm -hmm. you can go right into the app you can see exactly where it is live and you know how much the monitoring is 12.95 a month and if you buy for the year it's 12 bucks a month right, right. that is peace of mind we have it yeah, on Nelly. No you could hardwire it. You could use it on, on a battery. We have it. We know exactly where Nelly is when we drop her off for service. When we go to a campground, mm -hmm. I set up a new geofence. It is well worth the money. Take it from a police officer. Mm -hmm. Well worth the money. We're going to put the link below to that. I think you get an extra 10% off if you use our discount code. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put all that information will be down below. So what do you think? Yeah, we didn't give the normal, like, uh, what's the normal ones? Like the command hooks and hoses and stuff like that. We try to change it up a little bit, but I promise you, every one of these gifts, if you give it to an RV person, they're gonna really like it. Yeah. So in the comments below, let us know, are you doing RV Christmas gift shopping? Not if just Christmas. Holiday. holiday gift shopping, sorry. Yeah, if, PC, you have, sorry. Yeah, if you have friends that celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Right, so put it in the comments below. Let us know what you're buying. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.